Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's up, everyone? This is Bill. Today, I got a video for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up two step using the 2018. This is my 2018 Honda Grom. Uh, this is my project bike that I've been working on. Uh, the goal is to we'll go 170 big bore kit and turbo and then take it to the track. So, what I'm using is the Power Commander 5, it has wide band 2 with auto tune got the pod 300 on it for uh, viewing all the information okay and you can set up two-step launch control through the power commander 5 software okay so the way I have done it is this is your clutch lever right here when you or your what your this is pulls your plunger for your clutch Okay, so you can see this black spring going down here. I have made a bracket. Obviously, it's not finished yet. We're going to paint it. But we we're just testing it out to make sure it works. This is a, a uh, spring-pulled brake switch. That's what you'd most commonly find this type of switch on. So when this is pulled, it pulls the switch, turns the switch on. Uh, this switch is normally an open circuit, so pulling it closes the circuit. We use the engine bolt mount right there. So all we did was basically make a little L bracket. Show you what it looks like from the other side here. Did have to cut it a little bit to get around this weld that's on the frame, but like I said, it will be painted. You would never even know it's there. Okay, and it does have two holes because we weren't sure. I wasn't sure where to mount it. And the way it's wired in is one of these wires goes straight up to the Power Commander 5 on switch number 2 input, and I'll show you that. And then the other wire goes to a on and off switch up in the front end of the bike. So you can, you do have a master kill. If you shut that switch off, then you are opening the circuit up. It can't be activated. Okay, for some reason you just didn't want it on. Okay, I'll show you where that switch is. Okay, so I do have two on and off switches, and these do not interfere with anything, as you can see. So this one over here is for turning off and on auto-tune. This one here will be for turning on and off that switch back there on the clutch. Okay. So if this is on, the circuit is completed. This will allow two-step to come on. And right now I have it so it's at three and a half seconds on the clutch. So if you hold the clutch in for three and a half seconds, that would act, that would turn on two-step. You throw a wide open throttle. You can set the RPMs to whatever you want. Currently I have it at five grand. We're gonna test it out like that and I'll get some video of it working. Okay, so I'll show you the uh, switch that I installed working. Okay, here's the clutch switch. So you can see the mechanism there. Clutch in, clutch out. It only takes about that far right there, half clutch to activate it. And we may need to adjust that a little bit and play with it, but so far it works perfect. Okay. So I'll show you on the computer how you set up the uh, two-step, and I'll show you on the Power Commander 5 where to plug it in. Okay, so this is the DinoJet Power Commander 5, wideband 2 with auto-tune. Okay, and what you're looking at is you have these plugs on the side of the Power Commander 5. The two black wires right there. So it goes switch one from this plug over those first two. So if you're looking at it like this, these first two is switch one 
and the second two is switch two. Switch one is to turn on and off auto tune by default, unless you map it to something else. Switch two, we're using to activate two step launch control. And then next over is your speed wire. And then your analog input I'm using for temperature gauge right now, but that will be switched out to being uh, for boost. Okay, so you're going to use the second set of holes. Hole number three, hole number four. From the middle plug. Okay, now I'll show you the software on the computer. Okay, hopefully it's showing up on screen, but so once you have your Power Commander 5 plugged into your laptop, open your Power Commander software, you'll see down here at the bottom corner, two devices connected. What you are going to look for is you're going to go to Power Commander Tools. You're going to go Configure, Feature, Enables, and Input Selection. Okay, once you see this little box pop up you are going to select launch control so check that box it's switch input number two you're going to go to configure and you can see it says use timer to arm that means when the clutch is squeezed in for three and a half seconds okay so normal riding it's not just going to turn on on you because you wouldn't squeeze the clutch for three and a half seconds when you're riding Okay, and then the switch is normally open. This means it is an incomplete circuit. Closed would mean a complete circuit. Okay, so it is normally open. And the launch RPM right now is set at 5,000 RPM. So we may have to play with that a little. The goal is to be able to dump the clutch. The bike takes off and you don't pull, pull a big wheelie and uh, loop the bike. Okay. And there will be a link in the description below the video where I got that switch. You will have to fabricate your own bracket because I cannot find nothing like that. As far as I know, I'm the first one here on YouTube to design something like that. Okay, I've only seen one other bike in a forum that said that they were able to successfully put launch control on the bike. But you cannot use the two wires coming off of your clutch. There is an electronic on and off on your clutch, but those wires have power and those wires uh, will, they have power going to them. You cannot just tap into them. If you unplug them, the bike probably wouldn't work correctly. And I didn't want to do that. And if you tap into them, they have power going to them. Uh, it would ultimately end up messing up your Power Commander 5 most likely. So I wasn't willing to do that. So I came up with my own switch design. Okay, so once you hit OK, you are good to go. It's going to apply the settings. Okay, I will show you a video of two step actually working. Hope this helps someone out. Have a good day. Okay, so here's Bromzilla. See the mechanism here? When you squeeze in the clutch. Step his arm. So right now, the two step is set to 7,250 RPMs, and rev limiter is set to 9,750. I believe stock it's at 9,250. So here's, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna show you what rev limiter is. And then I'm going to show you what two step is when the clutch is in for three and a half seconds. Okay, I'm going to hop on the bike and I'm going to show you. Uh, first, I'm going to let you hear rev limiter. 
at 9,750 RPM. And then I'm going to squeeze in the clutch for three and a half seconds. And I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like on the two-step. And then I'm going to attempt to launch it on the two-step. Hopefully don't kill it. Okay, so this is with the two step off and the clutch in and you'll see it hit rev limiter okay, rev, rev limiter is at 9,750 rpms okay and then the clutch out rev limiter okay now my switch for the two step is on okay so clutch is out If I squeeze the clutch in and rev it, it's not going to hit the two-step. Okay, so normal riding, you're not going to hit the two-step. But if you squeeze the clutch in, count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, it's on a three and a half second timer. Now it should be on two-step. You can see there, 7,250 7, RPM. I shut this switch off, squeeze my clutch, no two-step, switch is on, clutch in for three and a half seconds, now you're on two-step launch control. Okay, so that's two-step working. Okay, so... In those last two clips, you can see two-step working properly with my little mechanism that I made. Obviously, I'm going to paint the bracket, make it look a little better, clean it up a little bit. Just This is just a test bracket so I can mock up a thicker one out of steel. But everything works perfect, works better than I thought it would. Um, as you can see in the me launching the bike, obviously it needs a little more work. Uh, the idea is to get it to where it pulls the front end up a little bit, but doesn't dump you on your head and end up looping the bike. But as you can see in the videos, two-step working properly. This is how you set it up on the Honda Grom. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I will answer them as best I can. Uh, my little brake switch that I'm using in the back is on Amazon. I believe it's only like 10 bucks. 
Uh, I will leave a link in the description where you can purchase that. And the switches, these are simply a on and off switch that I went to the uh, local auto parts shop and bought. Okay, they're simply a two prong on and off switch. Any two prong on and off switch will work on the power commander. As long as it's uh, one way is on, one way is off, that's all you need. Okay, and then follow this video and go back and look at everything again if you don't understand it. Uh, this is how you set up two step on the Honda Grom, and this is Gromzilla, the turbo project bike. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe and go check out the description below the video. Have a good day.